In the last movie, we looked at sharing your movie using iMovie Theater so that you can view your movie on an iOS device or Apple TV. But in this lesson, we're going to broaden the scope of our audience and literally share them with the world. Exactly. Let's jump right in. Once you've completed your movie or your trailer, it's time to share it with others. With iMovie, you can send your movie to a specific group of friends or publish your movie online. First, have a project open in the timeline or select it in the browser that you want to share. Or if you just want to share a clip, select that clip. Then in the toolbar, click the Share button. The window that appears contains a set of destinations for your movie. Let's check out a couple of ones I like to use. We discussed sharing to iMovie Theater in the previous lesson, so let's look at some other sharing options. If you want to store a copy of a movie in iTunes so you can access it on your computer without using iMovie, you can select that here. From iTunes, you can then choose to add the movie to your other iOS devices or Apple TV. If you just want to share your movie with a couple of people, you could choose to email it. This will create a highly compressed version of your movie, which can affect the quality. Another option to share your movie with a limited audience would be to publish it to YouTube or Vimeo as an unlisted movie, and then email the URL to your friends. Let's select YouTube. In the window that appears, we can skim a preview of the movie to make sure it's the one you want to share. Below the preview is its duration and estimated size. Click Sign In to enter your account name and password. If you check this checkbox, you won't need to do this step again. Notice the Add to Theater checkbox. This checkbox is available on all the other shared destinations, so you don't need to select it as a separate task. Very handy. You can change the title of your movie, as well as its description. Give it some tags. These are searchable words that describe your movie, which will make it easier for people to find if it's public. Choose a size. I generally prefer the largest possible for the best viewing experience. Choose a category. This will help with search as well. Then decide who should be able to view your movie. Private is only for specific people that you identify. Unlisted can be viewed by anyone who knows the URL. And public means anyone can view and it will appear in search results. Then click Next to publish your movie. Let's return to the share destinations. Sharing to Facebook, Vimeo, and CNNI report works very much like YouTube. If you want to export your clip, movie, or trailers in order to work with it in another application, select File. iMovie remembers where you have shared your project in case you don't. First, select the movie, trailer, or clip that you've shared from the browser. Then, above the viewer, click the Share icon. A list of destinations that you've shared to appears. You can then go to that site or locate the file. You can see how fast and easy it is to share your work with others in iMovie. In the next lesson, we'll learn some tips for managing larger collections of video clips.